when you study about ecg in your books whether it is ncrt or schan you will find about certain waves p waves r p q r s you will not be able to understand those waves beta jab tak ki polarization depolarization repolarization nahi samajh mein aayega so normal condition mein kya tha beta what charge was there outside positive positive and what was what charge was there inside negative negative so this was a condition when there was no stimulus and such a condition we say that it is the membrane of it is it is in what condition polarized depolarized or repolarized polarized 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 now this was a polarized condition electro positive outside electro negative inside this condition is polarized uh then we received a stimulus if you'll understand this beta you'll be very easily able to understand those pqrs thing which you see in the ecg here now the stimulus is received stimulus supposing is received at the third position so at the third position the channel will open this channel will open and interchanging of signs will take place positive will come inside negative will go up positive charges move in because of channels then open and charges are shifted what is this process called as here when charges are reversed depolarization yes this condition is called depolarization which means reverse charge normal condition was polarized when we received the stimulus depolarized after depolarization now understand here depolarization the impulse uh, the stimulus has reached at the third position now impulse will not stop here impulse has to move it has to travel the stimulus so from third position it will go to which position fourth position so when it will go to fourth position depolarization yahan pe hoga ab this positive will go inside this negative will come up and this third wala now it has become normal why it has become normal because there is no stimulus over here aap inko dekho beta yahan pe stimulus nahi tha to ye to wohi condition mein hai positive negative and yahan se stimulus jab aage chala gaya to ye bhi normal condition mein chale jayenge that means your third one will become what now mm, see this condition let me explain it to you it will be more clear from here yes third one has come back to its original position and fourth one has shown depolarization so from position 3 now the impulse has moved to which position fourth position now so we had polarization we had depolarization and because aapka ye apne original position pe aa gaya positive minus again polarize ho gaya ye this has again become what polarized na so we call this as repolarization because it has come back to the original polarized condition just my positive bahar hota hai negative andar hota hai so we had three steps which was the first step polarization 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 and then after that we had depolarization polarization depolarization the last one was last step was repolarization now i just told you that or uh, impulse is generated at which node sa node sa node so from sa node, node. Where, yes sa node is going to generate your impulse or stimulus so fir ye wala step yahan se start hoga jaise hi impulse aake hit karega earlier the condition was polarized when the it will come the impulse will come the second and the third step will be followed what will be followed is the second and the third step will be followed so we had three conditions when we talk about ecg reading the first condition when it is a normal condition when there is no impulse then we call it as what polarization 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 the polarization where positive and negative were there okay polarization was there and then what is received is stimulus what comes is a stimulus then polarization takes place and what was the third step children repolarization yes it is repolarization because it is going back to polarized position the third one and then fourth to fifth fifth to sixth this is how it is going to move we are going to study the last topic it's going to hardly take me 10 minutes tomorrow how to read an ecg the p wave and pqrs wave and all those things once you understand this it will not be difficult for you to understand that part also bachche now simply tell me one thing which system have we studied today of the heart conducting system conducting system conducting okay. system when we say conducting system 
we mean basically that we are starting from the impulse being generated in one node what was the name of the node sa node sinoatrial node what is the other name of sa node sinoatrial node uh, pacemaker pacemaker yes. from sa node impulse is going to travel with the help of special cardiac muscles it will reach another node what is the name of that node av node av node av node was very close to the junction between the interauricular and intraventricular septums so why doesn't it go directly from auricles to ventricles the impulse why so complicated because, because of the, the presence of connective of tissue. Of tissue very good connective tissue band which is known as annular band annular band in some books you may find annular pad is also written somewhere it is written annular bands so from sa node the impulse did not go direct it first come came to av node from av node it has to go to the ventricle walls so does it go directly av node leaves its place and goes no no ma'am no. by bundle of hills yes there are some special cardiac muscles which come out which are known as bundle of hills which further when they come down divide into two sections the left bundle of hills and the right bundle of hills and those cardiac muscles which surround the walls of the ventricles what what fibers are they known as purkinje fibers purkinje fiber purkinje fiber we, very good when we trace the path of an impulse we are going to write sa node sa node to av node av node to bundle of his bundle of his bundle of his bundle of his to left and right bundle of his and then to the walls of the ventricles that is purkinje fibers then it's going to reach the ventricles this is the path this is the conducting system of the heart how many main things we had we had sa node children we had av node and yes one more very important thing last one minute why is the human heart called a myogenic heart because, because it impulses the muscles. muscles yes impulse was generated at the sa node which is actually nothing they are special kind of muscles so whenever whenever in any insan or any animal or anywhere any organism you find that impulse is generated from the muscles then that organism's heart will be called as the myogenic heart and if impulse is generated from the brain then neurogenic heart genetic heart very good children beta is there any chapter left whose notes are not made sir so diwali is coming i want you to be free during festivals is there any chapter left anyways you can tell me tomorrow you can leave the class beta your time is over enough for you thank you so much children god bless you thank you ma'am so much god bless thank you thank you ma'am thank you ma'am bye, bye. bye.